Rachel Rochelle plays a loving farewell to the acclaimed Tony Award winning actress Frances Sternhagen. She called the city home for more than 60 years. Sternhagen loved new Rochelle and as CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports, her neighbors loved her back. At Holy Name of Jesus Church, family and friends said goodbye to new Rochelle's beloved Franny Carlin, the acclaimed actress better known by her stage name, Frances Sternhagen. She loved new Rochelle very, very much. Father Marty Biglin treasured his friendship with the actress. I will remember her as the most gracious person in the world that I've ever met because she was always reaching out to people. Sternhagen was a strong supporter of the local arts. It was my honor to present her with an Arts Westchester Award in 2010. She was equally skilled with drama and comedy. If this is the woman you've chosen to take my place. With memorable turns in Cheers. Sex and the City, and The Closer. She won two Tony Awards for work on Broadway and had tremendous chemistry with Sean Connery in 1981's Outland. Your wife is one stupid lady. You want to go get drunk? Sternhagen lived in New Rochelle's Sutton Manor neighborhood for more than 60 years, raising six children with her late husband, actor Thomas A. Carlin. She always wore the same holiday dress for a beloved tradition. We were invited into her house, the whole neighborhood, for Christmas Eve every year for caroling. She was just wonderful. We loved her. Sternhagen enjoyed sailing and swimming in the Long Island Sound. She was just a terrific lady. Big piece of, of the manor that's gone now. Frances Sternhagen, universally acclaimed as a great actress, and in New Rochelle, remembered as a wonderful friend and neighbor, the Tony winner next door. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Frances Sternhagen died at home last week at the age of 93. She is survived by six children, nine grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. Sounds like she lived a very happy life. A life well lived. Yes, right? for sure.